In the age of fire, there is a dramatic change in heaven and earth. In the ruins of cities, ferocious monsters roam alone, and beyond the starry sky, gods from other worlds are eyeing. Yi Tingsu, carrying a unique ability that can be infinitely deduced from his physical body, descended upon this magnificent era of disaster and embarked on the path of a warrior. Infer the respiratory tract, awaken, thunder breathing, the thunder sounds in the body vibrate together, making it easy for tendons and marrow to wash. Deduce the spleen, awaken, five elements divine collection, spleen, cultivate the land of the five elements, and base on the earth, you can continuously absorb the essence of the earth and supplement your own energy. Infer the eyeball, awaken the heavy pupils, the eyes give birth to heavy pupils, born saints, with unparalleled talent. Simulate the arms, awaken the remnants of the heavenly demon, restrain the chaos ancient snake with both arms, and be incredibly fierce, as if wielding the power of slaughter. Until one day. Inferring the whole body, awakening the infinite divine body, breathing converges like a nebula vortex, blood rushes like a vast galaxy, a drop of blood can suppress the gods, and one hand can reverse time and space. His life is constantly evolving, and in the brilliant and mysterious universe, it ultimately becomes eternal. Keywords of the Novel I smash the planet with martial arts skills without pop-ups, I smash the planet with martial arts skills. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapters of the planet with martial arts skills. Who would gaze at their own tombstone in Chapter 1? You are listening at NovelFull.Audio who would gaze at their own tombstone in chapter 1? Spring thunder begins to sound. All things tremble. A thunderous sound at night seemed to awaken heaven and earth from their slumber. After enduring the long winter cold wind and snow, the world finally breathed a hint of spring sunshine. Panlongshan Cemetery In early spring, amidst the green mountains far from the hustle and bustle of the city, there is still a hint of coldness. Above the sky, there are gray and gloomy clouds piled up, and the sky and earth are empty. A spring rain washes away the cold scenery of the mountains. Pop pop. The hazy drizzle beats on the umbrella surface, playing a leisurely melody. In the music of the sky, the world seems to have become even more ethereal and peaceful. The middle dot aged man squatted down. He was wearing a dark blue coat. He was about forty years old. He could see a bit of youthful beauty in his appearance. He was carefully cleaning and wiping the tombstone in front of him with Baijiu. On the left arm of the navy blue coat, there is a shield-shaped armband embroidered with a white background. On the golden olive branch, the silver sword patterns intersect with each other, which is quite exquisite. This is the symbol of the supervisory bureau. Yi Tingsu stood silently behind him, holding a black umbrella. The black umbrella sheltered the continuous cold rain, but some were also accompanied by a light breeze, blowing on their clothes. To be wiped clean. The man put the wine bottle aside and his rough hands slowly brushed over the inscription. The words carved on the tombstone were so familiar. In the past many years, it has been deeply engraved in his mind. First, let's examine the tomb of Grandpa Qin Gongyu, Mr. Qi, born in April 2012, therefore, in July 1966, filial piety to Qin Yao Jing, the man squinted his eyes slightly, sighed lightly, and then sat down directly on the wet ground beside him. The rain on the ground soaked his pants, but he didn't care. His figure leaned against the tombstone, and his thin body suddenly relaxed, as if there was still some warmth belonging to his father on the cold tombstone. Qin Yao slowly took out a cigarette box from the pocket of his coat with his right hand, and quietly lit a cigarette. A trace of fatigue flashed over his calm face, and he looked into the distant sky. His gaze is very profound. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that his left eye lacked any shine and there were some subtle scars around the eye socket. Yi Tingsu held the handle of the umbrella, his hand steady and unwavering against the wind, preventing a drop of rain from falling on the man's shoulder. Who? 
Qi Yao gently exhaled a smoke ring and glanced at the tall and upright figure of the young man under the gloomy sky. Tingsu, let's pay homage to your grandfather Qin. Qin Yao's mouth slightly curled, and he said in a warm voice. Amidst the smoke, there was a hint of sadness and nostalgia in the man's eyebrows and eyes. Yes, Uncle Qin. Upon hearing his voice, the silent boy behind him responded in a low voice. Yi Tingsu placed his umbrella aside and stood in front of the tombstone. The drizzle quickly moistened his hair, and the words in the inscription were reflected in his pitch black pupils. In an instant, a huge wave of sadness surged wildly, as if it was about to devour his soul. The young man struggled not to show any abnormalities, but a hint of paleness still appeared on his young cheeks, and his hands, exposed outside his sleeves, trembled slightly. He pursed his lips and murmured in his heart. Yu Chi Ah. I'm back. Who would stare at their own tombstone? In his memory, his younger brother Yuchi's youthful appearance was so vivid that even the mischievous and lively voice could echo in his ears. At that time, Yuchi was only eleven years old. But just in the blink of an eye, he woke up from another body and touched such an incredible fate. Yi Tingsu looked at the empty and brief inscription on the other side of the tombstone, feeling empty and occasionally tingling with pain. Tomb of Izi Qinhui, born on December 21, 2001, died on November 3, 2023, when my father was Qin Mu, my mother Su Wen stood in tears, I'm dead. He realized it clearly. Even now, he doesn't know what exactly happened, but everything he sees tells him. The life belonging to Qin Huai had already come to an end decades ago. And when his consciousness awakens again, he is no longer Qin Huai, but the present. Yi Tingsu. Just like the reincarnation in mythological legends, in these years, Yi Tingsu always touched some silhouettes of memories in his dreams, those shattered memories were chaotic and vague. Until the past two months, such dreams have become increasingly frequent, and those memories have also become clearer. The long river of time rushes endlessly. That year, Yi Tingsu was 17 years old. This year, the world has just entered 2077. His younger brother Qin Yuqi passed away 10 years ago at the age of 54. As for his parents and grandparents, they were transformed into the dust of the times in the earth-shattering upheaval that occurred decades ago. The memories of the past swept in like a tide, making Yi Tingsu feel a bit breathless. Suddenly, Tingsu, we should also go now. Qin Yao's voice interrupted Yi Tingsu's thoughts. Yi Tingsu looked up. Through the fine rain lines, the other worshippers in the cemetery were walking down the stairs one by one. They were dressed in dark clothes, like withered butterflies, and the mountains behind them reflected a cold color, adding a touch of sadness and solemnity. The vehicle is about to return, Qin Yao said. Although the military allows us citizens to pay respects this month and provides convenience, we have always strictly controlled the time. After speaking, he shook his head and sighed lightly, if it weren't for the establishment of a military base near Panlong Mountain, I'm afraid this cemetery would have been destroyed by monsters long ago. It would be rare to have such an opportunity. I know, Uncle Qin. Yi Tingsu nodded slightly. He glanced back at the tombstone again, his eyes flickering. Three parts of darkness and seven parts of brightness intertwined, like a shining star, silently bidding farewell to his past. After tidying up his chaotic thoughts, Yi Tingsu set off and followed Qin Yao away. Outside the gate of the cemetery, there is a small square where black painted buses are parked. Yi Tingsu and Qin Yao lined up to board the bus. Unlike the ordinary outside, the interior of the bus exudes a simple and luxurious charm, with lighting resembling daylight. The dark brown sofa seats are also extremely comfortable, and as soon as you sit down, you feel a bit tired. Strangely enough, these buses have a fully enclosed structure when viewed from the outside, with no glass or other visible elements. But inside, there is the presence of a car window, which clearly shows various scenery outside. This bus is mainly made of D. Great Alloy Thuajin, 
and the surrounding body is covered with E.grade alloy Qingwen steel armor, which is expensive. In order to improve the overall integrity of the car body, the windows presented inside are all simulated 100% of the effect of glass windows using a large screen, and there is almost no difference visible to the naked eye. Qin Yao looked around and whispered, This side of Panlong Mountain is relatively remote from the urban area of Jiangchuan City, and there is a possibility of encountering monster attacks on the way. Only in this way can we ensure the basic safety of vehicles during the journey. When the convoy departs, the military should also arrange for warriors to accompany us to avoid accidents. When he mentioned the military, he couldn't help but show a hint of pride and longing. Although many years ago, Qin Yao lost one eye during the war and retired due to disability. He transferred from the 8th Army of the Jinbei Corps to the Jiangchuan Supervision Bureau, what is more recognizable to him is his former identity as a soldier. Warriors Yi Tingsu looked out the window at the scenery, feeling slightly lost. Although in the life of Qin Huai, he once lived in such a peaceful era, at least in a peaceful country. That kind of tranquility no longer existed a long, long time ago. March 2026 At first, everyone thought it was just a climate change. As disasters followed one after another, animals and plants mutated and grew contrary to common sense, and a tremendous upheaval swept across the entire earth in a very short period of time. And the history that belongs to humanity from then on, it also moves towards a completely unknown trajectory. The new book set sail, charge. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 The Age of Fire you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 The Age of Fire Not Long A super-long convoy of 36 passenger cars is slowly moving towards the urban area of Jiangchuan City. Yi Tingsu sat by the window, watching the scenery constantly passing by the car window through a 100% simulated large screen. At first glance, it was desolate and heart-stopping. The dilapidated asphalt road is covered with cracks and cracks everywhere, and many stones have already fallen off the road surface. One tattered car after another is either rolling or shattered, parked randomly in various places. The trees on both sides of the road grow tall and lush, like two rows of giant umbrellas supporting the sky, exuding a hint of eerie terror. The twisted branches resemble ghostly figures devouring people. Sometimes one or two animals can still be seen with incomplete and decaying corpses, or more precisely, they are monsters. The vehicle travels extremely smoothly on a dilapidated road. Yi Tingsu's emotions couldn't help but drift. The world recognized by the Qinhuai is completely different. The current Earth is a world of great disasters. In March 2026, the global climate rapidly warmed with temperatures generally soaring to over 36 degrees Celsius, and some regions' daily highest temperatures reaching extreme temperatures of 53 degrees Celsius. According to records, from March to May, there were 41 frequent earthquakes worldwide, with the maximum earthquake magnitude being 9.2. While human society is facing severe tests, all animals and plants on Earth are growing wildly, starting to mutate, evolve, and reproduce wildly. On April 3, an ordinary camphor tree in Qingguan District, Jiangling City, expanded its diameter seven times overnight, and the news instantly exploded on the internet. People quickly organized and mobilized to suppress and eradicate the mutated growth of animals and plants, but did not achieve much effect. Their mutation rate completely exceeded the scope of control. By mid-June, ordinary firearms and blades were no longer able to damage the tough fur of most mutated animals, and the powerful vitality of plants was even more astonishing. Surrounded by primitive forests on the outskirts of cities, railways, highways, and tunnels are being destroyed everywhere, and the living environment is rapidly deteriorating. Everything seems to be the most brutal elimination of humanity by nature. The wars between humans and monsters, on land and in the ocean, have stepped onto the stage of history with the most bloody and ferocious postures. 
When life evolution becomes the tide of the times, the information warfare and mechanized warfare that humans once proud of appear weak and unbearable. Even with the ultimate military deterrent force of nuclear weapons, it is still impossible to reverse this. Although the mass destruction and destruction of nuclear weapons have dealt fatal blows to countless monsters in the explosion zone, the large dot scale radioactive pollution caused has rapidly accelerated the mutation of other monsters. And mutated monsters contaminated by nuclear radiation will evolve more lethal organs, producing stronger aggression and destruction. That war was long dot lasting and caused incalculable losses to human society. At the critical moment of human destiny, pioneers discovered the potential contained in bloodline genes and embarked on the path of evolution. This path of human evolution. That's the warrior. Dot. Considering this, a ripple suddenly rose in Yitinksu's deep and calm eyes. Martial artists refer to those who practice martial arts, cultivate their minds, nourish their breath, train their body, and elevate their spirit. After entering the modern industrial era, thermal weapons warfare replaced traditional forms of warfare. The so dot called martial arts can at best have some physical fitness effects for ordinary people. But as humanity enters this magnificent and turbulent era, ancient practices radiate incredible vitality. Warriors possess extraordinary physical fitness and hone incredible combat skills. They strengthen their body organs, absorb energy from heaven and earth, and even communicate with the material world through spiritual will. They constantly transform and evolve towards the most perfect direction with their flesh and blood bodies. According to legend, the super strong in martial arts can fly to heaven and escape from the earth, withstand nuclear explosions without death, and cross the starry sky, which can be described as an unpredictable ability. Compared to those beings compiled in myths and legends, they are no less impressive. Therefore, in the current social trend on earth, the reverence and pursuit of martial arts can be said to surpass everything. Even if an ordinary person is excellent, in the current social system, they can only engage in some relatively ordinary professions. Only martial artists can climb to the sky step by step and truly change their destiny. The leap of life genes enables warriors to have more active thinking, stronger brain power, healthier bodies, and more incredible abilities. These excellent qualities can exert astonishing influence in any field. It is not an exaggeration to say that today, decades later, warriors are setting the rules for the operation of society, guarding the homeland of humanity, and also guiding the path of the future of the earth. And people refer to the changes of this era as the Age of Fire. Primitive humans discovered the existence of flames in nature. They learned to use natural fire, preserve its seeds, barbecue food with fire, drive away wild animals, and provide lighting and protection against cold. The use of fire has enhanced people's ability to adapt to nature and holds milestone significance in human evolution. The age of fire refers to the budding of the path of life evolution, embodying the brilliant ideals of humanity in the faint glow of fire. Martial Artists Yi Tingsu couldn't help but sigh. Even if he has never been in contact with extraordinary beings, it is difficult for him to escape the vortex of the times when he truly arrives in this era. In other words, the human desire for martial arts is inherent in the instinct of life. His mind twitched slightly and in his deep eyes, there was a flicker of light with different meanings. For a moment, a transparent light curtain appeared before his eyes, which read. Yi Tingsu, Skills. 16th edition, Purple Qi Breathing Technique, 23rd edition, Universal Zhou Tian Guidance Technique, 31st edition, Basic Fighting Technique, available HP 0.2 inferable parts. Respiratory tract, lungs, heart, upper limbs, lower limbs do you want to start the deduction, insufficient health points, no suitable deduction plan currently available, will physical deduction be my reliance on embarking on the path of a warrior? Yi Tingsu's eyebrows trembled and he clenched his hands slightly. After the complete recovery of his memory, in addition to the past life of Qinhuai, he also discovered an even more extraordinary secret in himself, which was the transparent light curtain that appeared before his eyes at this moment. 
This transparent light curtain can only be seen by himself, and can appear with just a thought, without anyone else noticing. The content on the light curtain is quite mysterious. As long as he has enough life points, he can directly perform physical deduction and master special physical abilities. Or, in other words, achieve the evolution of the origin of life. This is simply unbelievable. Yi Tingsu has also heard that in the bloodline genes of certain martial arts geniuses, there is an extremely terrifying potential inherent in them. Once awakened, they can undergo special changes, even controlling flames and wielding lightning. But the situation on oneself is unheard of. Of course. The ability of physical deduction is not a castle in the air, but is built on skills. With the current education system, compulsory education has reached the high school stage, and all students begin to be exposed to martial arts classes in their second year of high school. Purple Chi Breathing Method, Zhou Tian Guidance Art, and Basic Fighting Art are the three compulsory courses of martial arts classes. The physical parts that Yi Tingsu can now deduce are also closely related to these three courses. Unfortunately, there are very few available health points, and I can only look at them with envy. Yi Tingsu awakened this ability for half a month. Based on his observations, he speculated that the way to increase health points is not complicated, but depends on the nutrients absorbed by the human body through digestion and absorption. In layman's terms, it means eating. However, the nutritional needs of the human body vary in different eras. In the era of poverty, protein, fat, and sugar were the most scarce and the best nutrients for the human body. Decades ago, protein, fat, and sugar were severely exceeded in the human body, with the most lacking being vitamins, minerals, and fiber. But now, in the pursuit of martial arts, an ordinary adult's physical fitness is enough to break the previous Olympic record, and naturally requires different nutrients. Like previous tonics such as ginseng and deer antler, even when used as melon seeds, the energy absorbed by warriors was extremely limited. In modern society, with highly developed technology, interstellar spacecraft explore the universe, establish extraterrestrial bases, and coupled with the evolution of plant life, material science and biology have made tremendous breakthroughs, which were unimaginable in the past. Some people with a solid family background will swallow precious medicines or inject more precious biological potions during their cultivation process to increase their qi and blood, and supplement their life potential. The difficulty lies in. Yi Tingsu is a poor ghost. He is currently 17 years old and his body is still in the stage of growth and development. Practicing martial arts courses also requires nutrition to nourish qi and blood, and daily diet is difficult to provide him with extra life points. What should we think of? This is probably a considerable amount. I don't have any special skills, I really need to say something special. He couldn't help but ponder, I can't go and sell my looks. Young Yi Tingsu, with a slight movement of his mind, deviated from the direction of illegal crime. Although he considers himself to have a good appearance, he really can't bear the pain that his brothers have suffered from. Don't let your body be emptied if you don't get your health points, it won't be worth the loss. The most crucial thing is. His skills do not include iron crotch skill, and he may not be able to withstand the torment of a wealthy woman at all. The second semester of the third year of high school is about to start, and the college entrance examination will be in a few months. This will also be an indispensable opportunity for me. Yi Tingsu looked out the window, his eyes flickering, as if flickering a candle. We really need to plan ahead. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Sick Beauty you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Sick Beauty The Convoy Drove Slowly No one can forget. In those turbulent years, cities fell into ruins and became playgrounds for monsters. But this nation, which has endured hardships for thousands of years, persevered and dyed the fertile soil under its feet with blood, ultimately successfully established eleven base cities on the land of China, blocking the rampaging pace of monsters. Later, they regrouped and radiated outward from eleven base cities, 
establishing 162 ordinary cities one after another. That is a poignant song of an era. These ordinary cities not only serve as central base cities for defense, but also greatly expand human living space, reproduce population, and recuperate. Jiangchuan City is one of 162 ordinary cities, under the jurisdiction of Juntian Bay City, divided into eight municipal districts, with a total population of approximately 6 million. At noon, the convoy safely arrived in the urban area. Although there were hidden dangers everywhere in the wilderness, they had a peaceful journey, perhaps because the military had carried out early clearance along the way. Tall buildings towered like towering giants soaring into the sky, showcasing the unique beauty of modern technology. In stark contrast to the devastation outside, Yi Tingsu felt a bit dazed. Pop pop. The sound of rain patters endlessly. The weather forecast is for thunderstorms in the coming days. Men and women wearing martial arts or casual clothes can be seen everywhere on the street, holding umbrellas as as they walk along. Each person has a long breath, subtly embodying the mystery of breathing technique. Cars and other means of transportation have disappeared without a trace. In the past, cars relied too heavily on oil resources, and in the face of global upheaval, they could only become scrap metal. Even if they turned to other energy sources, considering factors such as population density and space utilization, the passage and parking of cars would further make cities bloated and inconvenient. Therefore, in the construction process of the 11 base cities and surrounding cities, in addition to building urban defense systems, the country focuses on laying efficient and convenient urban transportation networks, and constructing subways, light rails, etc. that use nuclear power systems for driving. On ground roads, only sidewalks are left. Only the wealthy can purchase floating cars equipped with hydrogen energy cabins to meet their urban transportation needs. The latest floating car launched by Lingxiao Group, Bifang, can reach a top speed of up to 1.8 Mach. In theory, with the permission of the urban transportation system, it can easily exceed 1.8 times the speed of sound on floating light tracks, with an instant speed of 2,203 km. Of course, suspended cars are rarely seen in Jiangchuan City, and may be more common in those large base cities. This kind of life is even more vastly different from the current Yitingsu. The price of a Bifang floating car is as high as 120 million earth coins, while the annual expenditure of an ordinary family of three in Jiangchuan City is about 3,000 earth coins. Relatively speaking, the situation of Yitingsu is even more complex. Ten years ago, a group of birds and monsters, known as the Blue Snapper Eagle, attacked the urban defense system of Jiangchuan City. Although they were safe and sound in the end, they still caused some casualties. Yi Tingsu's parents happened to be near the most severely damaged neighborhood and unfortunately died. The first time he met Qin Yao was when Qin Yao, as a member of the supervisory bureau, carried out the follow-dot-up resettlement work for this incident. At that time, Qin Yao was in a low and depressed state due to some changes in his family. However, when Yi Tingsu was young and faced greater misfortune, he showed strength and courage after sadness, leaving a deep impression on Qin Yao. Therefore, after Yi Tingsu, who was not yet seven years old, entered a children's welfare institution, Qin Yao often visited him. After a while, their relationship became increasingly familiar. Less than half a year later, Qin Yao, after consulting with Yi Tingsu, decided to handle the adoption procedures. It's really a stroke of fate. Yi Tingsu sighed in his heart. Although Qin Yao has always referred to him as Uncle Qin, strictly speaking, it is his adoptive father who has cared for and taken care of him for many years, allowing him to grow up healthy in a stable environment. But as a Qinhui, Qin Yao is also his nephew in terms of kinship, and the continuation of his younger brother Yuchi's life. Even if he didn't witness the storms along the way, even if memories were revived, he still had a young heart, and Yi Tingsu still had a very special feeling. Family A warm current rose up in his heart. Even though he stumbled into such a special era, 
standing at the intersection of two lives, Yi Tingsu did not feel lonely. Lingyi District, Yuechen Community In the vast city of Jiangchuan, Yuechen Community is just a trivial ordinary community, and here, it is also the home where Yi Tingsu has lived for ten years. Click. With the sound of the lock core twisting, Yi Tingsu opened the door. He closed the door, put on his slippers, carried a wet umbrella, hung it on the hook of the small balcony, and then walked towards a room, gently knocking on the door. Please come in. A gentle voice sounded, like a gentle wind and rain gently tapping on the lotus leaves in the pond, stirring the strings of people's hearts. Yi Tingsu gently pushed open the door. The bright lights in the room poured out instantly, rendering the dim corridor. The layout inside is very simple, but it is also very warm, and you can vaguely smell a faint aroma. In front of the desk, a woman in white pajamas was sitting there, writing something with a pen in her notebook. Seeing Yi Tingsu's figure, she turned her head. Her eyes were bright, like the bright stars at night or the reflection of lights. Perhaps both, revealing an indescribable haziness. There are no special patterns or patterns on the white pajamas, but their simplicity highlights her unadorned beauty. Tingsu, you're back. The woman in white pajamas sat on a chair, with a gentle and calm smile on her cold face. Just that beautiful and indescribable cheek, stained with a sickly pallor, without a trace of blood, was like a flower about to wither. Sister. Yi Tingsu smiled and said, What would you like to eat for lunch, sister? I really like the food made by Tingsu. The sick beauty smiled as if the crabapple flowers were blooming, and then asked softly, Didn't dad come back with us? Uncle Chin received a call from the bureau on the way, so he went directly to the supervision bureau, Yi Tingsu replied, He asked us to eat first. Hmm. She nodded slightly, Then I'll trouble you. Just a moment, that's all. Yi Tingsu nodded and closed the door. He walked towards the kitchen. Standing in the dim kitchen, Yi Tingsu looked out the window. Under the gray sky, the rain gradually became denser, and a faint thunder rolled over. Who? He let out a soft sigh and immediately started preparing lunch. Late at night. Inside the room. Yi Tingsu sometimes bends down, sometimes stretches out, his limbs and body constantly stretch, breathing long and long, practicing the Zhou Tian Dao Dao Shu. Every movement is extremely precise, like a wooden sculpture, meticulous. Zhou Tian Dao Yin Shu is a set of effective self-exercise methods summarized by the Ministry of Education of Great Xia and the Martial Arts Association by absorbing the essence of traditional Chinese arts, the essence of Indian Brahma Yoga, modern medicine, biology and other knowledge. Guiding is more important than promoting the flow of qi and blood, and it mainly refers to the bending and stretching of limbs. The first edition of Zhou Tian Guidance Technique was released in 2041, which recorded a total of 16 guidance images. Each image is an independent guidance technique, which can be divided into vertical guidance, step guidance, and sitting guidance. Most of them are pure limb movements, and a few require the use of objects or breathing to exhale. Each completed guiding action can stimulate qi and blood, refine bones, and nourish the five organs and six internal organs. After continuous improvement and optimization, the 23rd edition of the General Guidance Technique has a total of 37 independent guidance techniques, which have been adjusted on the original basis and added with a large number of guidance diagrams imitating monster postures. It takes about two and a half hours to complete the 37 movements. Yi Tingsu started practicing martial arts classes diligently every day, never slacking off. These guiding movements seemed to blend into his instincts. Suddenly, dong dong. The room door was knocked. Tingsu, have you slept yet? Qin Yao's voice came from outside the door. Upon hearing the sound, Yi Tingsu immediately stopped practicing the guidance technique and went to open the door. As soon as he opened the door, he smelled a slightly strong smell of smoke from Qin Yao's body, feeling a bit surprised. After living together for so many years, he naturally knew that Qin Yao was not addicted to smoking, 
only occasionally, and this situation was not common. Uncle Chin, what's up? he asked. There are some things that I want to talk to you about, Chin Yao looked at the young man who was already taller than him, with a hint of smile on his face, and said softly. Yi Ting Su nodded, lost in thought. Qin Ya walked in and sat on a chair in the room, while Yi Ting Su sat on the edge of the bed. Ting Su, the second semester of your third year of high school is about to start, and the college entrance examination will be held in a few months. Do you have any plans? Qin Yao seemed to casually ask. This. Yi Ting Su hesitated. He naturally has a plan. For Yi Ting Su, Becoming a warrior has always been his only goal at this stage, but it is difficult for him to say such words. The saying, poor literature and rich military, has been passed down since ancient times. In that era of not having enough to eat and not being warm, it was common to have an empty stomach. The various expenses and daily nutritional costs required for practicing martial arts were unaffordable for ordinary people. The cultivation of martial arts is even more so. Before becoming a warrior, as long as one cultivates, they can be called martial arts apprentices. Martial arts apprentices are divided into three steps. Nourishing blood, forging tendons, and refining organs. They are the foundation for the path of martial arts practitioners. Nourishing blood, nourishing qi and blood. Forge your muscles and bones. Refining the organs, refining the organs. The saying goes, a towering building rises from the ground. Martial arts are the path of life evolution, the path of transcendence and sanctification. The prerequisite for everything is naturally. Good health. If you look like you are suffering from illness and your qi and blood are depleted, it is destined to be impossible to succeed, so there is a saying that goes, hiding essence and qi without venting. And how to build the foundation. As in the breathing method, it achieves the exchange of external oxygen, strengthens cardiovascular function, improves physical fitness, and even allows the blood to absorb a large amount of oxygen in a short period of time, instantly leading to a significant increase in physical ability. Or it could be guiding techniques. Many martial arts experts in the great Xia dynasty constantly innovate in order to improve the effectiveness of the breathing technique and the guiding technique, and thus cultivate more martial artists. How can all things be sought from oneself? Unless there is a natural talent, such as the evil of commerce, capable of fighting against rhinoceroses, bears, and tigers, such as the Hegemon Xiangyu, capable of carrying tripods, born with divine power, and a complete foundation, there is a greater or lesser need for resources to supplement one's own qi and blood, nourish muscles, bones, and organs. This expense is definitely a significant burden for ordinary families, but if you want to raise a child, you must grit your teeth. For the Qin family, such a family that has suffered from the hardships of fate. Yi Tingsu didn't speak up, nor did he want to speak up. End of this chapter Chapter 4 You Can't Regret You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 you can't regret Yi Tingsu's heart was spinning with lightning, but his face did not show any unusual colors. Uncle Qin, you can rest assured. He smiled and comforted, with my current grades, I have a great chance of being admitted to Jiangchuan University. If I perform well, even top majors such as biological science, nuclear engineering, and nuclear technology have hope. Last summer vacation, I visited the campus of Jiangchuan University with my classmates. The conditions there were very good in all aspects, and I will study hard and not make mistakes on such important matters as the college entrance examination. Although modern society reveres martial arts, only a very small number can become warriors. More and more people either fail the college entrance examination or are admitted to knowledge and cultural majors at various universities, learning and mastering more profound professional knowledge, enriching their professional abilities, and finally working hard to get married and have children. They are like symbols imprinted on each city, and they are also the cornerstone of the operation of each city. They inherit and continue the flame of humanity, nurturing the hope of civilization. 
Jiangchuan University is the only key university in Jiangchuan City, with an annual enrollment of around 1,200 students. In the context of popularizing high school education, the number of candidates in Jiangchuan City exceeds 100,000 every year. Yi Tingsu's academic performance has always been among the top in the school, which is why he dares to say that he is confident in being admitted to Jiangchuan University. If he can enter top majors such as biological science, it will be much easier to find a job after graduation. Of course. This is just his soothing words to Qinyao. Yi Tingsu yearns for a more colorful life and higher scenery, but this should not come at the cost of the sacrifice of the Qin family. He doesn't want to put more pressure on Qin Yao's shoulders due to his own reasons. You have been quick-witted and intelligent since you were young, and you have been diligent and hard-working in your studies. You rarely make me worry, Qin Yao said with a smile as he looked at Yi Tingsu quietly. It's just that. Many things are always in your heart and you don't want to say them out loud for fear of making me worry. I don't have it. Yi Tingsu shook his head. Qin Yao, on his own, said, if the plans you mentioned were put fifty or sixty years ago, there would have been no problem. Knowledge is the brilliant crystallization of human civilization and the power of humanity to transform the world. But, his expression was somewhat bleak, the world we rely on for survival has long changed. Becoming absurd, absurd, terrifying. Knowledge teaches you to understand the world and change it. And martial arts, what we need to teach you is to recognize life and change destiny. Speaking, Qin Yao took out a bank card from his body. Tingsu, you have lived with us for ten years, and I have always seen your character and treated you as a biological child, he said solemnly. There are a total of seventy thousand earth coins in this bank card. I'll give it to you now. You can use it to purchase precious medicines to assist in your cultivation, and try to improve your martial arts grades in the college entrance examination as much as possible. Even if you can't get into the martial arts department of Jiangchuan University, it will be very beneficial for your future development. Upon hearing this, Yi Tingsu widened his eyes. 70,000 earth coins. He blurted out, Uncle Qin, are you? Earth currency is currently the prevailing currency on earth, with a much higher purchase value compared to the previously liquid currency of the Great Xia dynasty. Take Qin Yao as an example. He works at the supervision bureau and earns a monthly salary of 900 earth coins. His social welfare is also good, and with some bonuses, it can be considered a relatively good job. He has been raising two children for these years, and his salary of 900 earth coins, excluding family expenses, actually does not save much. How can he spend so much money? Yi Tingsu's first reaction was that Qin Yao borrowed money from others outside because of his own affairs. Qin Yao saw his doubts and replied, I have gathered some savings in our family over the years. We have borrowed 10,000 yuan each from Uncle Wang Ping and Uncle Lu Yuan Jiang, and with the allowances provided by your sister's martial arts association in the past two years, it should be enough for you to spend on nourishing blood and refining organs. You don't have to worry, it's not really a big deal for our family. He smiled and looked like there was no big deal. Yi Tingsu felt that every word was heavy and heavy, hitting him hard in the heart. Wang Ping and Lu Yuanjiang are close colleagues of Qin Yao at the Supervision Bureau, but it is not an easy task to lend Qin Yao 10,000 yuan. As for the allowance from Sister Martial Arts Association if the accident had not happened, I naturally wouldn't have had to be polite to her, but since the injury, she has fallen into an incurable illness and her body has been deteriorating. How can I be so? Uncle Qin, I can't take this money. Yi Tingsu shook his head repeatedly. From a rational perspective, accepting this money would make his journey much easier, and perhaps he could find the key to changing his destiny through martial arts. But ultimately, humans are not just rational. He has never tried the ability of physical deduction, and everything is uncertain. He lacks the courage to take a gamble. Because they are the people they want to protect. Not chips that can be squandered by oneself. I guessed you would do this, 
Qin Yao shook his head and sighed lightly. I understand your concerns. Your cultivation talent doesn't seem to be outstanding. You're afraid you'll disappoint our expectations, and your demands may hurt us. But we are a family. When problems arise, we should have faced them together. As long as we work hard, even if we don't achieve good results in the end, it's okay. His left eye had no color, while his healthy right eye exuded warmth. He lightly patted the young man's shoulder, and his rough hand seemed to be filled with suffering. How can you regret being so young? Yi Tingsu stared blankly at the middle dot aged man in a navy blue coat in front of him. In modern society, martial arts are highly respected, with a focus on cultivating powerful warriors who can fight monsters. At the student stage, fighting techniques are taught to cultivate combat awareness and ability, which has led to frequent violent incidents in society. As an institution that maintains public peace, the Supervision Bureau can imagine the hardships involved, coupled with many misfortunes in life, in recent years, his figure has become increasingly thin and a bit more lethargic. But he's still saying. You can't regret it. Yi Tingsu was both moved and felt a bit sad. What was he moving and what was he feeling sad about? He gradually couldn't distinguish, but the figure of his younger brother couldn't help but come to mind. Eleven-year-old Yuchi stood in the bright sunshine, waving at him with a lively and happy smile on his face. Yuchi, I should protect them, right? I can definitely protect them. The next day. At 6.30 in the morning, Yi Tingsu's biological clock woke up on time. He looked out the window and saw that the continuous rain from yesterday had dissipated a bit. He took a deep breath, and the moist air entered from his nose, passed through his trachea, and reached his lungs. In an instant, he felt a bit of relief all over his body. Another brand new day. Yi Tingsu looked down at the hazy city outside the window and whispered to himself. After getting up to wash up, he started preparing breakfast and followed his usual routine by completing six specific guidance techniques. After sleeping at night, the body's metabolism is promoted, and the energy consumed during the day is fully replenished. Practicing Zhou Tian Dao Shu in the morning is not only beneficial for his physical health, but also makes him more energetic during the day. After the completion of the six sets of postures, Yi Tingsu only felt energetic and his thinking became more agile, and he could even clearly feel the coordination and smoothness of the muscles throughout his body. Later, he knocked on his sister's door and was somewhat surprised by the scene that caught his eye. I saw my older sister already getting up and sitting at the desk, just like yesterday, with a slight furrow in her eyebrows, vigorously writing in her notebook. Her eyebrows were very light, just like the distant mountains carrying dye, her eyes were like stars, her hair was like floating clouds, and her pale cheeks were faintly filled with a hint of sadness, rippling with a refined and refined temperament. Like flawless jade or crystal clear porcelain, if lightly touched, it will shatter this exquisite beauty. What is this writing about? Yi Tingsu couldn't help but feel a bit curious. But his curiosity is not strong, and he has no intention of prying into other people's privacy, so he doesn't pay too much attention. Sister, I have already prepared breakfast. Remember to eat it, Yi Tingsu reminded. I will go to Wangqing district later and come back before noon. Qin Yao is usually busy with work, usually leaving early and returning late. His sister has been deeply ill in the past two years, and her physical condition is very poor. He takes care of everything at home. I know. She tilted her head and responded, Thank you Tingsu. Then I'll leave, Yi Tingsu prepared to turn around and leave. Tingsu. She suddenly called out again. Hmm. Yi Tingsu was a bit puzzled, and then he saw a gentle smile on her cold and moonlike face, and her voice seemed to be melodious. You need to work hard. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Same World, Different Worlds You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Same World, Different Worlds Jiangchuan City, Wangqing District Yi Tingsu, dressed in a black windbreaker, 
walked out of the subway station and looked around. A gentle breeze brushed against the hair, exuding a hint of coolness. Science and technology buildings filled with a dreamy feeling came into view, towering into the clouds. Wangqing District, located in the center of Jiangchuan City, is home to the vast majority of martial artists or super-wealthy individuals. It can be said to be the busiest area in the city, with development in various fields such as healthcare, education, commerce, entertainment, and more, far surpassing other city districts. He distinguished the direction and walked forward. Less than 600 meters. I saw a skyscraper with 120 floors standing in the center of the city. At the top of the shopping mall wall, there was a big logo called Xingtang, with iron paintings and silver hooks, and dragons and phoenixes dancing. Xingtang Building Yi Tingsu looked up at the building. Xingtang Building is one of the landmark buildings in Jiangchuan City and the largest large dot-scale shopping mall in the city. It integrates functions such as shopping, entertainment, catering, leisure, business, and hotels, and belongs to the industry of Xingtang Group in Juntian Bay City. Yi Tingsu has learned on the internet that Xingtang Group is a giant group in Juntian Bay City, with great influence. It has industries in major base cities and cities within the territory of Daxiao. However, he has lived in Jiangchuan City for over a decade, and today is still his first time coming here. The future depends on this step. Yi Tingsu felt a slight nervousness in his heart, pinching the bank card in his pocket to secretly boost himself. When Qin Yao reached that point, he knew that rejecting this intention was not a good outcome. In that case, he can only carry gratitude and responsibility to do what he should do. On this trip, he arrived at the Xingtang building to search for a treasure medicine suitable for physical deduction, intending to open the door to his martial arts cultivation. He walked into the building and took the elevator to the 24th floor. Ding! Accompanied by a crisp electronic sound, the elevator door opened. In front of you can see a vast hall, where many glass display cabinets are placed, displaying various treasures and medicines. Sir, welcome to visit. At the entrance of the elevator, two young male waiters slightly bowed and showed enthusiastic smiles on their faces. Excuse me, sir, is there anything you want to buy when you come to Qianlingfang? A female manager wearing a white shirt and looking clean walked over. I want to purchase some beneficial medicines for martial arts apprentices' cultivation, Yi Tingsu said. Before he came, he had learned that the Qianling Fang, on the 24th floor of Xingtang building sold the most complete range of precious medicines and biological medicines in Jiangchuan City. Even this is just the tip of the iceberg in Qianlingfang. Above the 60th floor of Xingtang building, only warriors are eligible to enter. On the 96th floor, Qianling Fang's main business is selling the precious medicine that warriors need, with immeasurable value. Please follow me, the female manager nodded and smiled. Hmm. Yi Tingsu nodded and followed her forward. Martial arts apprentices are divided into three stages. Nourishing blood, forging tendons, and refining organs. There are generally several ways to nourish qi and blood, and strengthen the body. As she walked, she introduced, the first type is dietary supplement, which can achieve the effect of assisting practice by supplementing the diet. For example, black moon rabbit bone strengthening soup, which uses the first level monster black moon rabbit meat and medicinal herbs such as Codenopsis pelosula, erysema, and strictness to stew and cook, can have the effect of strengthening tendons and bones. Black Moon Rabbit is a first-order monster with strength comparable to that of a warrior among humans. For one pound of Black Moon Rabbit meat, it costs three to four thousand earth coins, as well as medicinal herbs such as Codenopsis pelosula and erysema, which only serve some auxiliary purposes. The second kind is medicinal tonics. Traditional Chinese patent medicines and simple preparations, such as the Blood Yuan Pill, Jiogong Health Pill, Long Qian Pill, Tingjin Pill, have the functions of strengthening the foundation, strengthening the blood, and regulating yin and yang. Or according to the development of modern medicine, 
chemical drugs synthesized through chemical synthesis and extracted from natural products can promote the generation of bone marrow hematopoietic red blood cells, enhance cell viability, and so on. The female manager spoke confidently, this method is more effective and can be dispensed according to one's own physical condition. The disadvantage is that it is not suitable for long-term use and strict dosage control is required. Miners also need to reduce the dosage, otherwise it may cause side effects. The third option is the crystallization of modern medicine and biological science development. Biopharmaceuticals This method is the most perfect. Through injection, it can directly penetrate and diffuse to the cellular level, enhancing human life potential. During the endocrine process in the human body, it will clear toxins from the body without any side effects, and the effect is also the fastest. Of course, the price is also relatively high. She explained the differences to Yi Tingsu. For the cultivation of martial arts, the physical body is the foundation, especially for martial arts apprentices who are in the stage of building a foundation. Their physical strength is not strong enough, and their functions such as digestion, absorption, and metabolism are far less powerful than those of martial arts practitioners. Therefore, they naturally need to be particularly rigorous. Some drugs, although highly effective, cannot be absorbed and can cause damage to the kidneys, nerves, etc., making it difficult to repair. Sir, this is our medication catalog. You can sit in the rest area over there and choose according to your own situation. You can also take a look around, and the corresponding display cabinets will be marked with information such as precautions and prices. I will confirm the purchase with you later. The female manager handed Yi Tingsu a beautiful manual, with a smile on her face that was like a spring breeze, perfectly giving the customer time to think. Thank you. Yi Tingsu nodded in gratitude. The female manager is temporarily leaving. Yi Tingsu stood still, carefully flipping through the manual in his hand and analyzing it carefully. After a moment, preface to Yi Ting. Suddenly someone called out his name. Yi Tingsu raised his head and saw three young people, a man, two women, walking over with laughter and conversation. His gaze swept over them one after another, finally landing on a young girl in a yellow hoodie. She has a ball-shaped head tied on her head, her big eyes are very agile, her skin is fair, her figure is slender, and she looks cute and charming, giving people a youthful and bright feeling. It's a coincidence that I ran into you here. The girl walked up with bright eyes and a happy smile. Fu Yen Huan. Yi Tingsu nodded, it's really a coincidence. Are you Yi Tingsu? The boy standing on the side stood up, with thick eyebrows and big eyes, dressed in a brand name, looking spirited and arrogant. I heard Yan Huan mention you before, he said Yi Tingsu glanced at him and then looked back at the manual. Not knowing or interested in paying attention. Seeing Yi Tingsu's indifferent reaction, the boy's face darkened and he felt a bit embarrassed. He then saw the manual in Yi Tingsu's hand and suddenly said, Are you coming to Qianling Fang to buy blood nourishing medicine? He added stress to the word, nourishing blood. Yi Tingsu didn't even lift his head and said, I don't appreciate your concern. I naturally don't care, the boy snorted lightly and then went straight away. Fu Yenhuan glanced at Yi Tingsu, bit his lip, and then didn't say anything more before turning around and leaving. Yen Yu, I'm sorry for making you unhappy because of me, Fu Yenhuan apologized. It's just a drama where love breeds resentment. How can we blame you? Yen Yu looked at Fu Yenhuan with a magnanimous expression and admiration in his eyes. It's not as you think, Fu Yenhuan frowned slightly. Yen Yu continued, Yen Huan, you are just too gentle to make other people have unnecessary illusions. He is an orphan, and his cultivation is only in the stage of nourishing blood. We are not from the same world, so there is no need to interact with him. I seem to have some impression of him, said another girl. I heard his sister used to be a genius warrior and was admitted to Juntian University, but within two years, she was injured and became a useless person. When mentioning Juntian University, 
her tone unconsciously carried a hint of respect. Among the eleven base cities in Dashia, only fifteen universities can be called the top-tier universities, and Juntian University is one of them, ranking eleventh. That's him, Yen Yu nodded. Hee <laughs> hee, it's really pitiful. The girl shook her head, but couldn't show any sympathy. Instead, she had a hint of mockery. Yen Huan, Yen Yu is right. This world is like this. You have a bright future, why waste time on meaningless people? After the college entrance examination, your life will be like two intersecting lines, and it will be difficult for them to see you again. Fu Yen Huan listened to their words, feeling slightly annoyed, but didn't know what to say, so she turned around and glanced. Yi Tingsu was still standing there, carefully flipping through the manual in his hand. Yeah. Even if there were many stories in the past, now they are not people from the same world. Isn't this just my own choice? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Crane Sleeping and Cold Bitter You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Crane Sleeping and Cold Bitter Regarding the interlude that just happened, Yi Tingsu didn't take it to heart. For him, these things are not important. Whether it's contempt or slander, it has nothing to do with him, especially the revival of past life memories, which have washed away those past memories and made them even more mundane. He just wants to grow up as soon as possible, bring some good changes to his family, and become a powerful warrior, to see the mountains and seas in the distance, as well as the heights of the sky. Sir, have you made a decision? The female manager saw Yi Tingsu putting down the manual from a distance and immediately walked over with a smile. I want to learn about the Yuanling Type 1 Nutritional Potion, Yi Tingsu said. Yuanling Type 1 Nutritional Potion. The female manager was somewhat surprised. Yuanling Type 1 is a biological potion independently launched by our Qianling workshop, which has been widely praised. However, for the cultivation of martial arts apprentices, it is not actually a good choice. Generally speaking, it is usually used in the warrior stage, where the warrior condenses and converts the energy from the body's flesh and blood into internal energy. During this process, cells need a large amount of nutrients to supplement in order to strengthen their physical strength. Yuanling type 1 foot can simplify the process of digestion and absorption in the human body and strengthen the body's ability to absorb nutrients. She explained, for martial arts apprentices, it is more suitable for situations where mistakes occur in certain practices, leading to severe nutritional deficiencies in the human body and an overdraft of life potential. Injecting the Yuanling Type 1 nutritional potion in a short period of time can quickly compensate for the deficiency at the cellular level and avoid organ failure in the human body. Of course. In addition, the situation is not that it cannot be used, but there are different targeted measures for blood exchange, muscle forging, and organ refining. The Yuanling Type 1 is based on human factors and cannot achieve the most ideal effect. Yi Tingsu's gaze flickered slightly. He knew very well that if Qin Yao gave him 70,000 earth coins and used them in a systematic manner, it would be good to achieve muscle forging in the college entrance examination, but it may not be possible to achieve dirty refining after graduating from university. The reason why martial artists are rare is because practicing is too difficult. The ability to deduce evolution through physical body is his only possibility. He searched through the drug catalog and found that the Yuanling Type 1 nutritional potion, although expensive, is relatively the most cost-effective choice. The price of the Yuanling Type 1 nutritional potion is 42,000 earth coins, and for the same price range, I would suggest that the gentleman choose a combination of these drugs. The female manager dutifully suggested to Yi Tingsu. Thank you, no need. Yi Tingsu shook his head. He also doesn't want to be indecisive. Based on his previous observation experiments, he also has strong confidence in the Yuanling Type 1 medication. In that case, sir, you can leave your address and we will arrange a dedicated person to escort the goods to your home as soon as possible to avoid any accidents that may cause you losses, said the female manager. 
Hmm. Yi Tingsu was not surprised by this. The Yuanling Type 1 potion can already be considered a valuable item, so it is natural to consider it more carefully. He paid a deposit, left his address, and then didn't stay any longer, just went home. The final payment will only be deducted after receiving the goods, and as for the remaining funds, he has not used them temporarily. Wait for Yi Tingsu to return home. The time is only 10.41. Tingsu. My sister was waiting for him to come back in the living room. When she saw him, she immediately handed over the notebook in her hand. Hmm. Yi Tingsu raised his eyebrows. Isn't this the notebook that she always sees at her desk recently? Sister, is this? He was a bit confused. I feel my physical condition has improved recently, so I have organized some of my cultivation experience records and tried to be as detailed as possible, hoping to be useful to you. Sister chuckled lightly, this has taken a lot of my effort. You need to take good care of Tingsu. Yi Tingsu was taken aback for a moment. He looked at her frail figure and the graceful font on the cover of his notebook, his heart tingling slightly. Qin Hemian once, what a dazzling name was this. Since he arrived at the Qin family, he has been amazed by the excellence of this sister. In the past, when she was in school, apart from the subjective Chinese language test papers, she could always achieve full marks in every exam. After being exposed to martial arts classes in the second year of high school, it was even more uncontrollable. In the second year of high school, he broke through the three levels of nourishing blood, forging tendons, and refining organs. In the first semester of the third year of high school, his qi and blood points approached nearly three, and he defeated his martial arts teacher head dot on with basic fighting skills, shocking everyone. Later, he entered the star-picking class and successfully broke through martial arts. He was admitted to the top university, Juntian University, in the college entrance examination. At that time, she was a renowned genius warrior. But in less than two years, like a brilliant meteor, it fell from the sky and became nameless. According to Qin Yao, she was seriously injured while hunting monsters in the wild. Although she was fortunate enough to be rescued, the toxin penetrated deep into her bone marrow and was almost incurable. Even with her current physique, it was difficult for her to live beyond the age of 25. And now, she is 21 years old. Fate bestowed upon her the best gift, yet mercilessly deprived her of it. Your body should be cherished the most, Yi Tingsu stared at her starry eyes. Nothing is more important than this. Got it. She grinned and stretched a little lazily, with a hint of fatigue between her eyebrows and eyes. Then I'll take a break first, and you can call me to eat later. She had a slender white wrist and draped it over Yi Tingsu's arm, saying, Help me. Yi Tingsu burst into laughter in silence. He sent Qin Hemian back to his room to rest, then sat on the living room sofa and began flipping through the notebook, quickly immersing himself in it. So it's like this. He had a sudden expression on his face. Martial arts apprentice, after experiencing the three levels of nourishing blood, forging tendons, and refining organs, the maximum limit of qi and blood value can only reach three. At this stage, the body has already met the basic conditions for entering martial arts. To truly break through, one needs to rely on internal breathing. External respiration is the exchange of external oxygen, while internal respiration is the exchange of energy. The energy in the human body is limited, and the amount of energy used is calculated accordingly. If it is not used up, there will be no excess or deficiency. Internal breathing refers to the processing of energy in the body into gaseous energy that can be stored in the meridians, and this energy is named internal breathing. He looked for an unknown amount of time. It was not until the doorbell rang that his consciousness withdrew from the world recorded by Qin Hemian's pen. Yi Tingsu stood up and opened the door. Sir, your item has been delivered, please sign for it. A man and a woman stood outside, wearing work clothes with the label of Qianlingfang. In the hands of the female staff member, there was a beautiful silver suitcase. 
She entered the password and opened the suitcase. Pop. I saw a tube of injection medicine placed among them, emitting a beautiful green luster and shining brightly. At this moment, Yi Tingsu felt a longing originating from his soul, and every cell in his body was cheering and jumping, as if about to usher in a new life. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Shu, Thunder and Lightning, Startling the Wind and Rain You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Shu, Thunder and Lightning, Startling the Wind and Rain At night, there was a storm. Raindrops kept pounding on the windowsill, sometimes light and sometimes deep. The hazy raindrops shattered the lights of countless households, turning into hazy and colorful pieces of gold, drifting towards the earth. Click. Yi Tingsu sat on the chair, took a deep breath, and gently opened the silver suitcase placed on the table, revealing the slender needle inside. The liquid in the needle tube ripples faintly and transparently, with a moving green luster, beautiful and breathtaking. Yuanling Type 1 Nutritional Potion A glimmer of essence flashed through Yi Tingsu's eyes, and the longing in his heart gushed out. When the staff of Qianling Feng delivered the goods to him, it was not yet 1 p.m. in the afternoon, but he did not use them directly, but he has been waiting until now. After all, to fully absorb this nutritional potion, it's not just about injection. Let's start. He pursed his lips and his gaze became more determined. Shu. Yi Tingsu opened the protective cover of the needle and inserted the needle directly into the skin, slowly pushing the medication inside the needle into the vein. Boom. His heart was beating violently, followed by a burning sensation all over his body, and his body temperature slowly rose. A strong heartbeat sounds like a heavy hammer beating a drum in the ear, the brain produces a trembling and buzzing sound, the blood pressure level in the brain rapidly rises, and the blood flow in the brain accelerates. Yi Tingsu's eyes instantly engorged and turned red, with endless blood twisted in front of her. Every cell in her body was mobilized, crazily devouring this violent and violent medicinal power. Ha! <laughs> a severe pain seemed to spread deep in his bone marrow, and his body trembled slightly. He gritted his teeth tightly and forced out a low growl. Persist. Just stick to it. Yi Tingsu endured the pain and activated the purple breathing technique. His breathing was like a bellows twitching, and the special breathing rhythm subtly contained the beauty of the rising sun and falling moon, as well as the natural rotation of heaven and earth. With each breath, waves of heat are spewing out, rapidly transferring heat from within the body out of the body. Consciousness is forcefully squeezing the potential of the body, standing up to start practicing the Zhou Tian Dao Dao Shu. Bang! He sometimes bends and stretches, sometimes moves like a dragon or a tiger, following a certain instinct that blends into his bloodline. Even though his body trembles slightly, he still strives to present every movement almost perfectly. One hour. Two hours. Yi Tingsu didn't even know how long he persisted and how many complete sets of guidance techniques he had practiced. On weekdays, he had to perform 37 sets of guidance techniques in Zhou Tian Dao Shu, and his physical fitness was almost exhausted, but now he is not tired at all. I only know that every time I complete a movement, the intense pain from my limbs is relieved. The body, which was originally slightly overloaded, seems to be wrapped in a heat flow, washing away the fatigue and wear of the muscles. Some body cells that are almost saturated become stronger and continue to engulf them amidst cheers. The entire body is like an incredibly precise machine, dissolving and absorbing the powerful medicinal power of the Yuanling Type 1 nutritional potion. At the same time, every part of the body, whether it is muscles, bones, tendons, or organs, undergoes subtle transformations silently. The body's functions gradually improve, and the body shape is sculpted perfectly, even the rhythm of breathing becomes more powerful. He had no intention of paying attention to those, but instead stared closely at the transparent light curtain in front of him. Yi Tingsu, Skills Purple Breathing Technique, Zhou Tian Guidance Technique, Basic Fighting Technique Available Health Points 
3.1 inferable parts. Respiratory tract, lungs, heart, upper limbs, lower limbs, consume three health points, the possibility of deduction is as follows. Failure, 35%, evolution, 60%, evolution, 5%, do you want to start the deduction? Yi Tingsu looked at the content in the transparent light curtain, his mind racing. As nutrients are absorbed and absorbed, the number in the available life point column slowly jumps, and the reference data for deducing possibilities also fluctuates accordingly. He remembers each set of data in his mind in order to find patterns within it. At 3.40 a.m., Yi Tingsu finally stopped. He exhaled heavily his clothes completely soaked, and his skin and pores felt sticky. With a casual punch, the muscles and muscles all over the body crackle, and the power permeates throughout the body. Bang! Suddenly, a muffled sound of airflow shook. The Yuanling Type 1 potion has been completely absorbed. Just by injecting this injection, my qi and blood value may have reached around 0.9, which is not far from the completion of nourishing blood. He analyzed to himself. Prior to this, his qi and blood value was only 0.73. Yuanling Type 1 is a biopharmaceutical priced at 42,000 earth coins, and it is not surprising that it can achieve this effect with only a small amount of consumption. At this moment, he is full of energy and needs to transform these nutrients into human functions with subsequent cultivation. Of course. If practiced normally, Yi Tingsu is likely to be trapped in the step of nourishing blood. To enter the stage of muscle building, it is necessary to have a precise and meticulous sense of the body in order to exercise the muscles and bones inside the flesh and blood through strength. The suggestion of the female manager is not unreasonable. For the same price, if you purchase drugs specifically designed for muscle building, it will be easier to find the feeling of exercising muscles and bones, and take this step forward. Yi Tingsu, Available Health Points 5.3 Inferable Parts Respiratory Tract, Lungs, Heart, Upper Limbs, Lower Limbs, Consume 5 Health Points, the possibility of deduction is as follows. Evolution 90%, Evolution 10%, do you want to start the deduction with 5 health points, you are bound to succeed and have a 10% chance of achieving evolution. A special light flickered in Yi Tingsu's deep eyes. He is not yet clear about what evolution and evolution represent respectively, but this is his first time using this peculiar ability, and he really does not want the result of deduction failure to occur. Even if the probability of failure is relatively small. Yi Tingsu first wiped off the dirt on her body, then sat cross-legged on the bed, trying to maintain inner peace. Start deducing. He no longer hesitated. In an instant. His consciousness fell into endless chaos, everything was silent, as if completely isolated from the outside world, and in his telepathy, his body was like a miniature universe in motion. In the incredible universe of human mystery, everything is constantly moving. Breathing is sometimes heavy and sometimes weak, like a nebula of dust wandering in space, the heart beats violently and gently, like a burning star transferring heat to its surroundings, the alveoli sometimes contract and sometimes expand, like expanding star clusters deep in the distant starry sky everything is showing strong vitality. Yi Tingsu's mind became increasingly peaceful, wandering in the universe of all things. Some places were mysterious and mysterious, while others displayed masterpieces of supernatural craftsmanship, leaving one lingering in unforgettable. He gradually immersed himself, and his mind could no longer feel the flow of time. Until, boom boom. In a chaotic darkness, a crack suddenly tore open, and in the shattered crack, dazzling thunderbolts escaped in. Yi Tingsu had a majestic body, sitting in the darkness and chaos. The dazzling thunder scattered and stirred around him, reflecting his body more and more brightly. Finally, he followed his breath and entered and exited his mouth and nose. Breath flows, stirring up the sound of wind and thunder. Like a deity descending to the world. Shu, thunder and lightning, startling the wind and rain. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 
First Deduction, Lay-In Breathing Method You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 9 I Master the Formula of Life Evolution You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 I Master the Formula of Life Evolution Chin Hemian sat at the dining table, with a straight back and a graceful posture. The chopsticks in his hand gently brushed over the plate, exuding a calm and composed demeanor, making people feel peaceful and harmonious. And across from her. But it has a beauty of being a scene of a world war disaster. Hmph, hmph. Yi Tingsu was holding a bowl filled with food, his chopsticks dancing in his hand, leaving a lingering image. He was eating big and showed an excellent appetite, actively eliminating his enemy. At first, Qin Hemian saw him so passionate and affectionate, but after seeing him eliminate the sixth bowl of enemies, with his own eyes, the smile at the corner of his mouth gradually froze, and he couldn't help but show a strange expression. Tinksu. She paused, are you? Smell the sound. Yi Tinksu lifted his head in a daze, with rice grains still sticking to the corner of his mouth. Eh. Seeing Chin Hemian's strange expression, I realized that my eating habits were indecent. He smiled awkwardly and said, maybe it was because there was a lot of physical exertion during last night's cultivation, so I felt particularly hungry. There's no way, he's really hungry today. Yi Tingsu couldn't help but reminisce about the feeling of energy after injecting and absorbing the Yuanling Type 1 nutritional potion last night. However, after choosing to perform physical exercises, the medicinal power absorbed by the cells throughout the body was exhausted and gone forever. In addition, the later practice of thunderbolt breathing washed away blood and flesh, quenched muscles and bones, and caused significant physical exertion. This also leads to Even though he has eaten six bowls of rice now, he still feels half full. Eating like this is a great burden on the digestive system for a normal person, but Yi Tingsu has at least achieved great success in cultivating blood in martial arts and has naturally not had such concerns when stepping into muscle forging. After hearing these words, Qin Hemian fixed his gaze on Yi Tingsu and immediately showed a surprised expression on his face. Blood and flesh are transparent, and his heartbeat is slow. Tingsu, have you? Entered the muscle forging stage. Hmm. Yi Tingsu widened his eyes and said, Sister, can you tell that? He had no intention of telling them about it now, but Qin Hemian's eyes were so sharp. With just one glance, he could see the tremendous progress he had made overnight. Qin Hemian whispered, Martial artists explore the secrets of various bones, tendons, internal organs, and even the depths of cells in the human body. You are still just a martial arts apprentice, and your field of expertise is still shallow. From your heartbeat, pulse, blood flow, and other aspects, I can draw a lot of information. After becoming a martial artist, the body condenses internal breath, which protects the body in a static way while isolating certain signals from the outside world. It is difficult to explore. Moreover, martial artists can cultivate more advanced body forging techniques. Different body forging techniques will transform their bodies in different directions, and there are significant differences only on the surface. Only by truly practicing can one know their specific strength. She curved her lips with a smile on her face and said, The note I handed you, Tingsu, didn't take a good look. Yi Tingsu and she stared at each other. Under her teasing gaze, she quickly lowered her head and continued to be a bucket with a guilty conscience. Yesterday, after receiving the Yuanling Type 1 biopharmaceutical, he was always in a relatively excited state. How could he have any other thoughts to study? Qin Hemian was just joking and continued, however, Tingsu, it is indeed a great joy that you have made such progress. Dad will definitely be very happy when he finds out. After dinner later, you can go to the market to buy some monster meat nutritional products. The super protein contained in monster meat cannot be artificially synthesized with current technology, 
which is very beneficial for martial arts cultivation easier to consolidate your foundation. She warned, and your future recipes will also need to be changed. The higher the level of martial arts cultivation, the higher the demand for nutrition. The nutrients provided by the previous recipes are difficult to restore your physical energy to its optimal state. Yi Tingsu listened attentively and nodded, Okay, sister. After finishing his meal, Yi Tingsu tidied up and returned to his room. The awakening of thunder breathing can be said to have caused a huge change in his original life trajectory. But in addition to being happy, he also did not forget that the ability of physical deduction is the foundation of everything. He can awaken the thunder breathing and naturally deduce and evolve other body parts, thus possessing more powerful abilities. Based on my attempt this time, it can also be considered as confirming the previous conclusion that the point of life depends on the nutrients absorbed by the body, and the physical deduction essentially uses these nutrients to drive the evolution of a certain part. He sat in the chair, pondering to himself. Physical deduction is not a water without a source or a tree without roots. It cannot make Yi Tingsu stronger out of thin air, but provides a method for Yi Tingsu to become stronger. The deduction part is limited by his skills, or more clearly, it should be knowledge. The point of life is limited by the nutrients it can absorb and absorb. This is like a car's fuel tank, which is only 55L and cannot hold more gasoline, nor can it drive further distances. It can only be refueled after turning off the engine. The array data from last night's memory came to Yi Tingsu's mind. Only when the available health points reach one can one choose to start deduction. One health point, 75% chance of failure, 25% chance of evolution, zero chance of evolution. Two health points, 55% chance of failure, evolution probability is 43%, evolution probability is 2%. Three health points, 35% chance of failure, 60% chance of evolution, 5% chance of evolution. Four health points, 15% chance of failure, evolution probability is 78%, Evolution probability is 7%. 5 health points, inevitable success, evolution probability is 90%, evolution probability is 10%. Based on these data, it is evident that the more health points consumed, the lower the likelihood of failure, and the easier it is to obtain good inference results. Life points play a role similar to energy, providing power for deduction. Insufficient power leads to natural failure. Since that's the case. To enhance the motivation provided by life points, there are no more than three points. Yi Tingsu tapped his fingers on the table, and his conjecture became clearer in his mind. The first one is to strengthen one's own physique. The more powerful a warrior is, the higher the level of genetic optimization, and the amount of nutrients they can absorb naturally increases. At that time, it is entirely possible to deduce two-star, three-star, or even higher evolutionary plans. The second type is more advanced biotechnology. Just like the Yuanling Type 1 biopharmaceutical, it dissolves and absorbs drugs at the cellular level, simplifying the process of digestion and absorption in the human body, and strengthening the body's ability to absorb nutrients. Advanced biotechnology can completely increase the upper limit of the human body. The third way is to learn more knowledge. Since more life points can promote the deduction results, can I also have the effect of saving energy if I master more comprehensive knowledge? This is debatable, but the possibility is high. Take Chin Hemian's mention of body forging technique as an example. Forging technique is a martial art that transforms the body. If he has a deep understanding of a forging technique, theoretically, it may indeed reduce the difficulty of deduction. If it's really as I thought. Yi Tingsu murmured in his heart, the so dot called deduction may be understood as an incredibly mysterious formula. Dot. I don't know the principle of that formula, but I have the ability to use formulas to perform operations between knowledge and life points in order to find the key to evolution. Just one deduction, but it seems to unveil that mysterious veil for him. 
Yi Tingsu felt that he was getting closer and closer to the answer, and his emotions became more and more surging. If martial arts are the path of life evolution. So in his hands, it is very likely that he is mastering the formula for the evolution of life. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Yes, Luo Fong is my idol. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Yes, Luo Fong is my idol. Qin Yao had just returned home from work when he quickly learned from his daughter Hemian about Yi Tingsu's heroic deeds of forging tendons overnight. Upon hearing this news, Qin Yao, who usually does not speak and laugh, also felt a little more happy. During dinner, he even took out his precious wine and poured himself half a glass. He doesn't drink much because the work of the supervisory bureau carries certain risks and requires him to always maintain a clear mind. Moreover, as he ages, his bodily functions gradually decline, and consuming alcohol will accelerate this process. But whenever he is happy, he can't help but drink a little, which is one of the few rituals left in this middle-aged man's life. Tinksu, you have to believe in yourself. A person's fate is never a straight line, but rather unpredictable and full of variables. These variables can be bad or good, and most importantly, never easily deny yourself. After drinking that half cup of wine, Qin Yao seemed to have more conversation. You may not believe it, but Mu Yuan Lu, the strongest figure in Kunlun Bay City and known as the Great Xia Sword Saint, was often criticized for his foolish talent during his youth. But now, he has become the top strongman of our great Xia, guarding the Kunlun Mountains with his sword. After hearing this, Qin Hemian couldn't help but laugh and said, Dad, the sword Saint Mu Yuan Lu is indeed one of our top strong warriors in the great Xia, even enough to rank in the top three. But who said the phrase, stupid talent? You have to listen to who said it. Your statement is indeed correct, but the example given is incorrect. The most appropriate example should be I.S.A. Stafford, who is known as the Emperor of Light in America. It is said that he raised blood for three years, forged tendons for three years, and refined organs for three years, until he was thirty years old, when his body functions were about to decline, before he broke through as a martial artist. In theory, it was difficult for him to achieve any success. After breaking through the martial artist, he soared to the sky and achieved remarkable military achievements. He only suffered one defeat in his life and was known as the world's second strongest. The Xia Sword Saint, Mu Yuan Lu. Emperor Guangming, ISA Stafford. Yi Tingsu has seen these names in the news, but he has never heard of their past and is quite interested. What about the strongest one he couldn't help but ask? In Tianjin, Qin Hemian smiled and said, Tianjing in the summer. Tianjing Base City. Yi Tingsu's eyes suddenly lit up. Tianjing Base City was the capital of the Great Xia Dynasty. Hearing Qin Hemian's words, he couldn't help but feel proud. That's not so far, Qin Yao said solemnly. Tingsu, in three days, you will start school, and the college entrance examination will follow closely. The college entrance examination can be said to be an annual event in the summer, and the country's investment in various higher education institutions has always been high. Getting into the better schools, the better resources can be obtained, and the future prospects are also very different. What he said was all clitch as, but even after listening countless times, Yi Tingsu could still have a deeper understanding. Universities are the most crucial link for governments on earth to cultivate warriors. At the level of martial arts practitioners, the elemental spirit type 1 nutritional potion is only their basic need for nutrient intake and cannot be supported by ordinary families. Except for those who join the military and are hired by consortia, almost all other civilian warriors obtain resources through universities and the support of the state. For people like Yi Tingsu who have an extreme need for resources, the college entrance examination is particularly important to him. But when Qin Yao said these things, Yi Tingsu couldn't help but feel a movement in his heart and quietly looked at Qin Hemian sitting next to Qin Yao. She was slightly dazed, 
and in her lowered eyes, there seemed to be a surge of inexplicable emotions. It's probably a pity. Or what else? After noticing Yi Tingsu's concerned gaze, Qin Hemian curved his lips and secretly made a comical expression by squeezing his eyebrows. As if accusing him that her father doesn't know how to take care of his emotions when speaking. It can appear on the face of that beautiful and indescribable object, and the comical expression is also particularly moving. Yi Tingsu was almost not amused, but looking at Qin Yao with a serious expression beside him, he could only sit upright and listen carefully to his teachings. There are still three days left until the start of school. There are only over four months left until the college entrance examination at the end of June. There is no middle school entrance examination now, and the time for the college entrance examination has not followed the past early June, which is good news for Yi Tingsu. To get into a good university, forging one's muscles is far from enough. He needs time. We also need money. Uncle Qin gave me 70,000 earth coins to buy nutritional supplements, and spent 42,000 yuan. In the afternoon, he went to the market to buy one pound of meat from the monster red feather chicken, and spent another 2,000 yuan. Yi Ting calculated in advance, there are still 26,000 yuan left. 26,000 earth coins is indeed a large sum of money. But Yi Tingsu is still struggling to make greater progress in these four months. With thunder breathing, I don't have to buy muscle building supplements like others, but to make progress, the most basic nutritional supplements must be guaranteed. This is also a considerable expense. Even teenagers in their developmental stage can increase their appetite in order to grow their body and strength, and martial arts cultivation is even more so. Adequate nutrients are necessary to maintain their growth rate of qi and blood. If you want to continue with physical deduction, the financial gap will be even greater. If asked if Yi Tingsu wanted to continue his physical deduction, his answer would definitely not have any hesitation. As someone who had just tasted the sweetness of laying breath, he would feel excited and uncontrollable when he saw the transparent light curtain. Time waits for no one. Make money. Yi Tingsu's thoughts changed and he immediately made a decision. In modern society, it is common for high school students to work part-time, especially for those from difficult families. In order to cultivate, they must work and earn money while attending school. Yi Tingsu has also done it, but with his 0.7 HP, it's difficult to find a suitable part-time job. His income is meager, and he also uses his salary for daily expenses at home. But. My qi and blood have greatly improved now, much better than my previous situation. Yi Tingsu was full of confidence. Taking the sixth high school in Jiangchuan as an example, Luo Feng, a student in class 6 of grade 3, came from a very difficult family. His father was just an ordinary decoration worker, and in order to cultivate himself, he started working part-time a long time ago. He practiced diligently, combined with exceptional talent, and successfully reached the stage of refining dirt in martial arts practice, with a full qi and health value of 2.45, making him one of the outstanding figures in the sixth high school. It is rumored that he is now on the social service network platform Zingluotai, receiving some tasks and earning commissions. It is not difficult for him to earn thousands of earth coins on average per month. And it doesn't require much time, it won't affect your studies at all. A welfare position specifically provided for high school students under policy guidance to help solve the economic problems faced by talented high school students like Luo Feng. Yi Tingsu had long envied this student Luo Feng and regarded him as his role model, wanting to be as excellent as him. Unfortunately, he only meets the requirements of being a high school student, while being a genius has nothing to do with him. A martial arts apprentice with a qi and blood value of 0.7 and in the stage of nourishing blood, don't let this hope for any good things. But now, who is not a genius boy yet? End of this chapter